Hello, this is Bern, and if you've ever asked the question, why do I keep attracting looser guys into my life, then you are in luck, because I will not just show you why this happens, but what to do about it to turn it around in my episode today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to be.com today. It's another edition of Ask Burn, where any of you amazing, beautiful women get to ask me a question on understanding men, how to create the relationship of your dreams and anything in between, and I create a response-based video just for you. Today's question comes from Zara Abdul Hussein, who asked me, she says, Burn, I have a question. I know all guys are not the same, and there are good ones out there, but why do you think I keep attracting the same type of losers? And what I'll tell you, Zara, is that the challenge right now that you're experiencing is not necessarily that loser guys are attracted to you. I saw your picture and I've had a few interactions with you. I know you're a beautiful woman, young woman, so there's the likelihood that guys are gonna be attracted to you is high. So in that pool of men who are attracted to you, there's gonna be losers, there's gonna be great men. The problem is not that anyone who has high radiance will attract a lot of guys, the problem is you not being able to tell the difference between the guys who are really worth something and those who are not. And that has something to do with the way your heart is finely tuned to understand men and also to trust your intuition. So I'll say that that's the first thing. The problem is not the guys, it's you not recognizing who is who. The second thing I'll tell you in terms of changing this and turning it around, because instead of dwelling on why you're attracting them, I'll tell you that the antidote to this is not first part of the whole thing, it's up your vibration. And here's why upping your vibration is so important. Upping your vibration simply means raise your freaking energy level to the point where you have a finer discernment as to what's going on around you. Because here's what happens. When your energy is low, it's difficult, uh, first of all, to attract someone with a high vibration. That's the first thing. But second of all, it's difficult to tell the difference because you're not really feeling as intensely and you're not as present in the moment and your energy doesn't allow you to fine tune your heart as much. So if you up your vibration, and we've talked about this on many of my videos, how to do this. I mean, I'll refer you to a few of them, but just to give you a quick recap, do the things that make you feel alive and create the movement and energy in your life that make you connect to gratitude versus the things you don't have. When you up your vibration, that's the first step to start attracting higher quality men, but also to tell the difference between those who are players and losers and those who are honest, amazing men. Step number three is when you start fine tuning your heart and connecting to someone who's a pretty cool guy you feel, don't decide he's great until he, you've had some time for him to prove that. Why? Because many men will act as great guys to get in your pants. Unfortunately, that's the way it works, right? And some guys will not, I mean, many of those guys will be, as you said, we said before, losers. Some of those guys will be amazing. And only the test of time, only you experiencing certain circumstances with him and figuring out how he reacts, seeing his level of interest through time even if you don't have sex with him, especially if you don't have sex with him, him having that level of interest and pursuit and knowing that he's respecting your boundaries and that he's staying the course, that starts telling you that the guy is great. So you don't connect to a guy and say, wow, he's amazing, interesting, high energy, he's a great guy. He's not a great guy until he proves it, okay? Number four is do not stop seeing other guys until one becomes this amazing man that creates this amazing relationship with you. And here's why, because if in the process of creating this connection with men, you find one who's starting to prove that he is an amazing guy, but there's still not been enough time for you to know it and you cut off everything else, then the likelihood that you can be disappointed is great. But if you continue connecting with men until this really happens, then if for some reason he ends up not being the guy, you're not putting all your eggs in one basket and you're not putting that energy that he has to be it, you know? And that energy that you are leaning back makes the guy want to commit more. Number five, up your standards with grace. And I mentioned this last, but it's the, probably the most important ones. Up your standards with the grace means if you're doing the right things in your life to feel your aliveness and your sensuality and your expressiveness as a woman, then having high standards is not a difficult thing. When your energy is low and you're not connected to your worth, upping your standards seems like, seems like an uphill battle because in your mind you're thinking, well, if I have a higher standard, who will want to connect with me? But in life, sometimes things work the opposite to what our intuition tells us. So if you up your standards from this place of, I know my worth, I'm alive, I'm excited, then guys who may have shown up and messed with you will not, because they'll understand this woman, she has a heart of gold and she has high value and she's not gonna stand for my tricks or my techniques. Either I step up or I connect to someone who doesn't want something great. I hope this makes sense for you. I hope this is powerful and insightful for anyone who's watching. If you 
feel that it is, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the description of this video or on this link right here, you're going to see a link that allows you to subscribe to my free video webinar that will show you a three-step blueprint to find your soulmate in 90 days or less. Super powerful stuff and it's free. Any questions for me, write a comment below. Let me know what you think about this and I will either respond personally or create a video just for you. Thank you and as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life. Hello, this is Bern, and if you've ever asked the question, why do I keep attracting looser guys into my life, then you are in luck, because I will not just show you why this happens, but what to do about it to turn it around in my episode today.